Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video we are going to work with a dependent select in a filament. So here we have the country, state, city and department. Now the city belong to the state and the state belong to the country. For that I'm going to, when you select a country, I want to render here on the state only the states belong to the country. The same for the city. When we select the state, I want to render only the cities belong to that state. And if the state is empty, the city is going to be empty. The same if the country is empty, the state is going to be also empty. Okay. For that, let's open the VS Code. And here we are. Now, to dynamically update the options of a select field based on the another field you can pass a function to the options method here we have a relationship but i'm going to change that to options so let's say options here the same also to the city and remove the name and the title attribute also here and the function we are going to add on the options can inject utilities as parameters so you can do things like check the value of another field using the dollar sign get utility so in this example the country field here first let's chain here the live method and this allows the form to re render when the value of the country field changes and now in the options, I'm going to say fn and use the get from filament forms get dollar sign get here. And we can get the value of the country field using this get dollar sign get utility. The value of the field is used to determine which options should be available in the state field. Okay. So let's say this is going to be, it's going to return a collection. So I'm going to say collection from the Illuminate support here. And I'm going to use the state model, say query, and chain the where method here. So where are the uh, country ID. And now we can use the dollar sign get to get the uh, value of the country ID is selected so let's say country ID and then I'm going to plug only the name and the ID here so name and the ID I think uh, I have imported okay let's do the same for the city as well let's paste that in now also here i'm going to add the live i'm going to chain the live method and here we are going to say not state but city model make sure you import that and where not country but city has the state id so where state id is the last sign get state id now this get is going to Take a look to this state ID. We added the live also here. And I think we are okay now. If I save that and let's open the browser and refresh. Right now, if I take a look to the city, nothing. Take a look to the state, nothing. Let's choose Albania here. Now, yeah, we have all the states belong to the to this country. And let's say Tehran. And now we have all of the cities belong to the state here. Now, if I uh, remove the country, I want also to remove the state selected and the city selected. Okay, for that I'm going to use the after state updated. So on the state here, after the live, I'm going to chain also the after state updated. And here we need to add a callback. So I'm going to say fn. And here I'm going to use now the set 
from filament forms set dollar sign set because i want to set the state for the city id and let's say now dollar sign set the city id to be and it's going to be null and let's copy also this one and paste it right here on the country and I'm going to say set the state ID to be null. If I save this and let's refresh. Okay, now let's select again Albania, Tirana, and uh, let's select this one. Now if I remove the country, yes, the state is removed, but not the city. So let's refresh and take a look one more time say Tirana here and select this one if I remove the state also the city is remaining here and that's it because we need to add also on the city we need to chain the live method here now if I save that and refresh okay let's select Albania Again, I'm going to select Tirana here, and now if I remove the country, yes, the state ID is not, but not the city. And that's it, because on the country, we say after state update function set to set the state ID null. But also we need to, the city ID when we remove the country. So for that, I'm going to say here, function and let's copy and paste one more time and say not state but city here let's save and let's refresh let's select Albania Tirana here and Pascochan. Now, if I remove the country, yeah, both state and the city are clean. Let's select again. Let's select again Tehran. Now, if I remove also the state, the city updated. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. How we can uh, update the city and the state based on the country and the same for the city based on the state now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends all the best and see you in the next one thank you very much friends